Hello, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. Oh, it's a green light. Um, we're driving into London. Um, today is the appointment with the surgeon. So we'll see what he's saying. Let's see if they've come up with a plan. Um, hopefully they have like more of a plan this time. Oh, I don't know. I'm wearing the we got this black hoodie today. Matt's here. He's got the navy, we got this sweatshirt. Amma's got the pink, we got this um, t-shirt. I always say whenever we're going to the hospital, we have to wear the we got this merch. So that's what we're doing. If you're interested in getting one, the link is in the description box below. You can buy yourself one, you can buy a family member one if you know anyone that's struggling. It just lets them know that we're all in this together. Um, Matt, Matt is feeling a bit better i know so many of you are concerned he is feeling a lot better thank you all so much for your well wishes for him he's doing great he's still you're still not 100 percent, are you he's still not 100 percent, but i think just i think tomorrow he'll be absolutely fine um are you okay today not bad not bad <laughs> yeah we're we're not thinking too much about it just because last time i think we had like high expectations. Amma really thought that the cancer had disappeared and that's why she was like shocked. Um, whereas this time no expectations. Yes? Yes? yes. <laughs> Today's appointment it's um, in Royal Marsden but we're going to the one in Fulham Road, the one in Chelsea, Kensington, that area. Whereas the one I normally go to is um, the Sutton Royal Marsden where I think where the surgeon like where they do big operations and stuff like major surgeries is all the way in the Chelsea one so that's why they want me to go and see the surgeon there I'm hoping it's the same surgeon that I saw before radiotherapy you guys know if you watch my vlog then if you haven't I'll leave that video linked down in the description box but hopefully it's the same surgeon just because I feel like I don't want to see a new surgeon yeah I, I don't want to Sorry, I don't want to see a um, new surgeon because I already feel really comfortable with the man that we met. It's supposed he, to be him again, isn't it? I hope, I really hope it's him or someone in the team, but I really want, if I am to have surgery, I really want him to do it because he's really well known as well. Some of you, I'm not going to tell you his name, but because I don't think I'm allowed, but some of you, even in the comments, have said, go and look for this doctor. So I really want him to speak to me today and I really want him to perform the surgery whenever that is. Yeah, we're all parked up now. Amma's gonna stay in the car just because we can't find parking. Um, it's a nightmare parking. parking in London. It's absolute nightmare, isn't it? Like, you just can't find parking. So Amma's gonna wait in the car, which I think will be better. I think it'll be better for Amma as well. Because I think it just gets a bit too much, you know? Um, Matt and I are gonna walk in now. It's raining. But it's fine. I've got my denim jacket. Actually, this is Matt's denim jacket that I've stolen off him. It's nice and big, so it's gonna keep me nice and warm. Should we go? Yeah, do you think we're allowed to park oh. here, yeah? Amma will wait in the car. Wait. She'll move if we need to. Let's make us strong. Thank you for the best family, friends, Tiffany Thinks family. Thank you for Amma, Matt, and all the doctors. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We got this. Let's go. Am I? You're gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you straight away. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna wear my denim jacket. Oh, sorry. Oh dear, so sorry. I've got a cold sore popping up. I think where I've just been like really stressed. Um, it always pops up. The last time I had one was during Vlogmas. Do you guys remember? Matt, do you remember during Vlogmas I had a massive cold sore? Did you? I think it's where I was a bit run down as well. Mm. But I think this popped up as soon as... As soon as I got bad news. I'll check the sign and I'll see what it says. No, but I'm like, you can stay here. If you see the parking guy, yeah, just move the car. Yeah, yeah, that's do you remember last time you parked around the corner? Yeah. yeah. Which corner? Maybe. That way. That way, yeah, yeah. yeah. I but think you should fine. be okay. We'll check anyways. We'll check the time. Anywhere is fine, Emma. Yeah, we'll find you, Emma. Don't you worry, don't you worry, Emma. Bye, Emma. Welcome, Edna. Yeah. 
Bye. I feel like I need Amma and you. Let me tell you, Jesus. Oh no, it's okay. I think it is better Amma not coming with us just because I think it gets a bit too much for her and then she just starts crying. Oh, she starts crying and then I start crying and then it just gets a bit too much. Obviously, it's hard for her to hear all what the doctors are saying, so I think it's better for her to sit in the car. Raining. London is so manic. Look how busy it is. It makes me really appreciate that we don't have to come here every single day. Oh. Come on. I'm so glad that we're in Santa Isabel. Imagine coming here every single day. Oh. Be an absolute night. What an absolute night now. They're all big, don't know him, but he's, he can't get out. He's a it's big nice. man. He's a big, big fan. Okay, let's go there. Should we go? Oh. Cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Thank you. Please mind no, just do one. Doors closing. We can't actually remember no. where to go. And they don't really write anything on the letter. Like, oh, we don't know that. No. Going Definitely up. not here. It's probably number two. I think it is floor two. Doors opening. Okay, we can't remember Door where to go. Three. We should have asked. There was no. I think it's that no way. Receptions. Straight down there, isn't it? I is think we're that way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you I think he knows we're lost. Yeah. He definitely knows we're lost. Oh, I think, is it this way? No. This looks familiar. Oh, we went from the left last time. Oh, yeah. No, it's not here. Okay, we're lost. <laughs> lost in this hospital. This hospital is so much bigger than the Saturn one. Yeah, my hospital number is 77. Oh, sorry. It's not pushing on. Yeah. No. I'm just going to have to see him. Is he okay? Yeah, he's doing all right, yeah. He's doing all right. Thank you very much for the room. There's a reception desk there. Just signing the phone. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Please mind the door. Door's closing. Okay. Going Hopefully, up. now we know where to go. <laughs> Floor one. Door's open. Yeah, that's right. Right, um, I'll check you in for your 100%. which is fine because it's my doctor is like the surgeon that saw us before so I'm I'm happy to wait are you okay to yeah. wait here we had a choice of when to sit here or stay in the waiting area just because like we're getting anxious but I think just waiting here is fine it's not gonna be that much longer hopefully mm.
Hi, hello. This is pretty brutal, all of this stuff, mm. okay? So I'm, I'm really... It's quite a big bag of operation. It is a big, and you're so nice, and you're so lovely that I feel... <laughs> honestly, I feel bad telling you, because nice. you're young. And, yeah. and I promise we'll walk you through it. And I promise, 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 I'll look after you like you're my sister, mm. okay? I will. Thank okay? You. I'll drive you, I'll drive. Okay, we just got in the car. It was such a long appointment. The doctor is the best doctor in ever. The best doctor <laughs> I've ever met in my life. What do you think? Yeah, he's a very nice chap. He was so nice, Omar. And basically, he's just saying that it's going to be a major surgery eventually. So I'm going to have more chemo. Um, like two, three months worth of chemo. And then he's going to do the surgery. He said it is a major surgery where like things have to be removed and um, it's going to take him like 10 12 hours but if I don't do the surgery I won't live so I have to do the surgery in order to live um, it's like I can't not have surgery I have in to order to prevent it spreading yeah, yeah. He, said that he said it will spread yeah. within six to twelve months mm. if I don't if I if I say yeah, if you don't do anything if I don't do any like if I don't do any treatment it will spread within six to twelve months and obviously then I won't make it right so the option is this is the only option to have chemo and then have surgery that's it um, in between I think it's going to be four more sessions so that's what eight weeks so that's two more months of chemo and then in between that he's going to put me under anesthesia he's going to put me under he's going to put me to sleep and have a feel and have a look at the cancer. Um, he said it'll know more when he looks at it. Mm. Yeah, I think he's just so specialised. I can't mm. believe he was saying he was one in... F how many people in this in the whole of this world, only 15 people... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Only 15 people can perform this surgery and he's one of those surgeons, right? So that's mad in itself. So I'm getting the best care. Um, another thing I wanted to say is that, yeah, so he wants to have a look he also wants me to have another MRI at this hospital so that he can like do the things he wants to do. Overall, I think it's good news because at least he's not saying I'm not doing the surgery. I think that's what yeah. I was worried about before because on the Monday that on the time we went to see the doctors at the other hospital, he, it was just uncertain whether the doctor would do it. But I think now that he's had more time and yeah, I think it's going to be okay. In the he's the one who's in it, yeah. Well. I think they'll start chemo next week. Pretty soon, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. It's good news. I'm seeing it as it's good news. Because yeah, because he could have said... You, you, we're not going to Sometimes he said it. He's, you can't do surgery. Yeah. Huh? He said sometimes, for some people, for some other people... He will say, I'm not doing it. So and he, do you know he what? said he's going to do it, He's so that's the good. best surgeon. And if he can't do it, no one else can. Hmm. That's how I'm seeing it. So the fact that he's saying he's got it, he's willing to do it. You're really lucky that you're here. To I'm be honest so with him, lucky yeah. to have him. I can't believe it. And he said that he's gonna, like, he's gonna treat me like his sister. Yeah. Oh, he did say that, and my heart <laughs> melted. That means he genuinely cares. You know, he's not just gonna. He loves you, that man. He was so sweet. He was, not he? he? Why loves does he you. like me so much? I don't understand. Like, I feel like I wanted to take him out, like, bring him home to have dinner with us. No, I'd love to. I, I really, really, like, I felt he was so, he was like a family member. I know. Honestly, he felt like, oh my, he was like my cousin or something. He was so, it felt like. He even sat right next to you. Like, really he brought close. the chair around. Right That's why close, I, just, I, know. I didn't vlog anything because obviously he doesn't even know anything about social media. Like, he's just so, like, oh, he's such an incredible doctor. He brought the chair all the way around so I quickly turned the camera off. I just, I just wanted to talk to him, you know? And yeah, such a lovely man. He's so compassionate. If you think about it, right? You know doctors. Like before, I know. Yeah. You know some doctors we meet. They don't care. Like mm. they don't see me as a. Pa they don't even see me as a person. No. Nah, they just yeah. see me as like some yeah. like patient come in like blah blah blah. You've got this. You've got cancer. Yeah. T4B. They use these terminologies so. that I don't even understand. And then I'm. I'm he speaks in the basic yeah, language. He's like so. He's so he relate like he's so relatable. I know. Like he didn't use any technical terms no, and nothing. he said, listen, if this doesn't make sense, he drew out a diagram and yeah, truly grateful. You know what? Thank God for allowing me to have the best doctor and the best care. Royal Marsden is just amazing. I'm so lucky. Isn't it?
the fact that we left hospital and we're both like positive and know, he I kept know. saying like we we need to be positive like yeah. stay away he also said like oh during this time you'll lose friends because like it's just crazy because everything we talk about mm. is like he already knows and he kind of gets us like it was just really good oh my it's good news i think it's good news he's gonna try his best and yeah. you know what if if he can't do it, I genuinely believe no other doctor can. Yeah, I think you're right. So let's see what he does. Let's see. Okay, let's go home. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. We haven't had any food or anything because it's just been like... We've just been so scared. But yeah, let's go. Huh? It's pretty yeah. stressful. Matt was crying as well. My heart broke. Matt, Matt, when Matt cries and Amma cries, my heart breaks. It's like, yeah, stop, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Should we go get some food or something? Hot sauce. Uh, it's nice. You can get the thick one or a thin one. Uh, thin is the best. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. We just had such lovely food um i was so hungry so we were all were because we hadn't eaten all day it's really late now so we just quickly stopped off at pizza express my cold sore hopefully should get better just because i'm a little bit more calm now after seeing the surgeon i feel a lot calmer i think we all do don't we just feel like okay fine do chemo again and then it'll be surgery so a little bit of like reassurance i guess but it's just yeah we'll just wait we'll just wait and see but i'm not going to stress about it anymore done done stressing we just got home it's nearly nine o'clock and you guys know chris uncle matajitha and my cousin mimi mama so my auntie my uncle and my cousin they just said they're going to quickly pop over so i might have a shower first yeah i'm going to go get changed out of like the clothes i was in um stay in my pajamas and then wait for my um, family to come around I feel like I'm not going to really talk too much about it I just want everyone to know that it's good news because we're going to have chemo and then surgery so um, yeah I just want to soak in kind of what happened today I still feel like I need to process a lot of the information and then um, I'll talk to everyone about it probably once I get my head around it but I do think I feel so much better after seeing the surgeon today. I feel like there's hope and um, on, to, on to the next step, which is gonna be chemo, more chemo. And it's fine because I know what to expect, you know? Before I was scared and I didn't know what it was like. Now I know where to go, what's gonna happen. So it's, I guess it's not so bad. You buy me something. It's a couple of days later and um I just wanted to sit in the car. I don't know, it's such a nice day and I just wanted to sit in the car um, and just just try and process what's going on. So the next, I'm just waiting now for more appointments with the doctors. Um, I've got an appointment next week with the oncologist. I think he will kind of tell me how much chemo I'll need. I just think the surgeon needs more time that's what he said, he needs more time to come up with a plan. Um, so it's just kind of the waiting game really. I'm just praying that all the doctors that he talks to, um, like he needs to speak to a gynecologist and he needs to speak to other surgeons and hopefully they all, um, hopefully they all come up with a plan for me. So the only thing I keep thinking is that they've got, they've not said no to surgery yet. They just want more time, so. Yeah, I'm going to just sit here for a little while. I'm just going to 
pray and just reflect on everything that's gone on just because I feel like I haven't really had time on my own to kind of process what's happening and I just need a little bit of time to understand everything in my head just to get my head okay like I just need my own time and that's why I'm just sitting in the car right now um I just need a little bit of time to process everything but I know in the end everything's going to be absolutely fine it's just this this is the hard bit you know what one thing Matt said was true he said the hardest day of our lives is when I was diagnosed with cancer when they said you've got cancer now everything else is difficult but there's going to be a day when the doctors say Tiffany the cancer has gone completely so we're just we just have to do all these little things to get to that point and yeah I just need to remember that I really need to remember that there is going to be an end to all of this and that's all I really need to remember is that there will be an end I don't know when but there will be an end to all of this hopefully soon but it's all like it's all gonna be okay I truly truly appreciate you all honestly this journey has been so difficult but because I've got all of you by my side it's like you give me hope you give me strength like strength that I didn't know I had you guys give me that so truly appreciate you all if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and be part of my loving Tiffany thinks family my Instagram and my Facebook is Tiffany thinks and I will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye Mwah. love you lots and lots and lots and lots